guys, it's Cassie. Today we are going to be talking about fabulous luxury fine jewellery brands that aren't Cartier and Van Cleef. No shade to those brands. Clearly they have absolutely fabulous, glorious pieces, right, that loads of us love and that's why they're so popular. But, you know, I just hear love ring, love bracelet, Justin Clerc, Van Cleef, Alhambra, all of that business all the time here and I just wanted to show you some other options in case you're in the market for fine jewellery or maybe you're thinking about getting into fine jewellery or whatever or maybe you just want to know because that's fun too. Now I am somebody who has not really focused on fine jewellery a lot previously but I've told myself that this year you know I'm going to try and get a little bit more into it and I'm trying to push my um, boundaries of brands and stuff like that to really find something that's very me. So hence this video and I hope that I can introduce you to some brands that maybe you haven't heard of before. Some of them you will most likely know but some of them, I don't know, I think, I think this might be the first time you're hearing of them. They all kind of have their own unique styles and quirks and all of that. So I'm very excited about today's video. Okay so we are going to start off today with Bulgari. I've spoken about the Bulgari B01 range before and that is like, Bulgari obviously has some amazing fine jewelry pieces but specifically the B01 range is one that's so easily worn every day and it just works with casual looks with a bit more dressy looks blah blah blah. I also really like how they work ceramics into the design so you can have this fabulous B01 ring with the gold on either side and then white ceramic in the middle or black ceramic. They also have a fabulous B01 bracelet that mixes yellow, white and rose gold and I just really love like mixing metals so that is fabulous particularly I would like to draw attention to the B01 rock range which kind of has these like little spiky studs it's just so edgy I love the rings because they're chunky and meaning business they look you know does that make sense hope we're on the same wavelength there and again such timeless pieces a brand that's very comparable to Cartier and all of that but it's a little bit more edgy a little bit less popular I've definitely seen it out a lot less and is definitely worth looking at by the way, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay, brand number two is Messica. And Messica is very well known for their moving diamonds. Um, I kind of wish they called them like swimming diamonds. I just think that that would have been cuter. But basically... A lot of the move range kind of has this section cut out and the diamonds literally slide from side to side, right? Again, rings, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, bangles, all of that. They have loads of different move ranges that have slightly different kind of styles. Some of them are a little bit more masculine and clean lines. They really have a good range of daintier designs and like chunkier designs as well which I really like there's a huge range I actually compared one of these to Cartier because I think that it's better value for money if we take the Cartier love ring this one that I have right so this is the largest size it's not the wedding band it's the kind of regular size with the three diamonds in it right this is selling for £3,350 okay and the 0 0.22 weight of carrots of diamonds in it okay now the messica move romaine ring which i absolutely love and have added to the wish list it's just oh love it you have again got three diamonds in it you've also got a parve kind of row of diamonds at the bottom parve is basically those like tiny little chippings so if it's parve it's tiny little chippings okay it's got one row of those at the bottom and that has 0 0.3 carats worth of diamonds in it and it's 2,910. So you have more carats of diamonds and it's cheaper. Also that one is slightly wider than this one. And again, it kind of gives this very easy, timeless, elegant vibe. But again, it's very different, is a little bit interesting. You've got the movement of the diamonds, you've got that parve, just really, really worth a look. You've got with Parve, without Parve, and just the diamonds slide in doing their own thing. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love how the diamonds have freedom. Like, it's, I don't know. I kind of see them as like tiny little pets on your fingers or wrist or whatever. I don't know. I just find them very adorable. <laughs> All right, brand number three. Um, 
huge iconic popular brand this is tiffany with the t range okay this range came out maybe like just over a year ago or something Ugh, it might be longer to be very honest with you uh, I, actually this range has been out for ages i don't know why i said that it's been like a year the t1 range is new but the t range has been going for a few years now cassie come on get with it but I still think it's so underrated. I really haven't seen it worn a lot. And these pieces are beautiful. Again, I quite like, I mean, they do two widths. So you can have a skinnier width and then like a, a wider width. And I just love, especially that chunkier width. The bangles are stunning. The rings, those like chunky rings have such like a really lovely heft about them that they're not gonna get lost in the fingers. Look, if you like dainty jewelry, then there are those options too. But as somebody who is very much like, I don't know, I'm not like a dainty jewelry kind of like person. I love those chunkier pieces. You know, they really have like pride of place and they will shine. White gold, yellow gold, rose gold, with or without diamonds. Like I said, iconic brand. You have that kind of weight behind the name and timeless, beautiful pieces. Brand number four is all diamonds. It's all about diamonds all the time. Parve. You want to get a hell of a load of those chippings just sparkling. The light hits. Oh my gosh, sparkle, sparkle city. Shea Jewelry. Mother daughter LA based brand. And this is just fabulous. This is this brand is really like my inner rapper. We all know that I have like a tiny inner rapper inside of me that is just like who I want to be. And Shea Jewelry just absolutely speaks to the Cassie two dollar signs so inherently. Cuban link, like iced out chains. Um, they really, like I said, they really only work with diamonds and precious gems, your sapphires, your rubies, all of that. I love, I, I mentioned in my wish list, they have like a ring that looks like a Rolex watch band that's just again, all diamonds sparkling. Very cool. They also have this ring, which is like a five thread stack ring and it's flexible, not like you can bend it, but as in like, it'll have movement on, it's probably gonna be a bit like this ring where you see how it has like a lot of movement and you know, you can fold it flat or whatever. So they have this, but it's literally five rows of tiny diamonds. Fabulous, fabulous brand. Pricey, but fabulous. The next brand is a brand that I've really heard nobody talk about. And this is, if you want fun, you want colors, you want glorious color families and stories. We're gonna get into that. Jane Taylor jewelry. Again, mother daughter duo, love it. The hues, okay, the selection of colors together. You can have multicolored, you can have like a family of blues and a family of pastels. Absolutely gorgeous. Mainly like, st rings wise, it's mainly like stacking. To be honest, the bracelets as well, stacking. And I just love that, especially if you have it just brings a little bit of fun into your wrist or finger game or whatever. And I just think that it plays so well with, if you did have a couple of Cartier pieces or brand or rings from other brands, I just think that it would slot in so nicely and just give a little bit of, little pop of something, a little bit of interest to the stack, you know? They also don't just do round rings, they also do square, which I quite like the vibe of. I think that's a little bit different. It's also not just um, round stones, they do baguettes and all of that, just like really, really stunning. Brand number six is a very like fashion-y brand, okay? So like, if you look closely, quite a lot of these like top tier luxury fashion bloggers probably have the pair of these or whatever. So this brand is Era and they are well known for their kind of like, are they called carabiners? Why do I know this? Okay, they're like those things that people who scale mountains and sort of rock climb, that's that, rock climbing use so that, you know, they don't sort of plummet. They basically do like really fancy version of those um, as earrings and you buy them individually. So you could have one one colour, one another colour or one two different sizes, whatever, they do a few different sizes. Again, they're just a little bit fun, something a little bit interesting and different. You might just want the one. You can mix and match. Again, I would say that this is quite pricey for what they are, but it's also very unique and different. So... The last brand I want to talk about is Melissa K Jewelry. And again, we have that mix of like very fun and very timeless coming together so wonderfully, like a beautifully blended stew. That was kind of witchy of me, wasn't it? Mm, you get, you get what I'm trying to say here. So 
really really fabulous i like personally how she mixes the diamonds with the enamel so she has all these amazing fabulous designs one of them kind of looks like those like little pucker shells but it's not quite it's like enamel with the diamonds down the middle there's another range which is like two loopy things love that i don't know what it is but i love that especially in the rings there die and then there's one which is just like a really nice kind of like one loop around but the bottom of it is enamel and then the top of it is diamonds the colours that the enamel comes in, that's fine Cassie, flick yourself in the chin, um, you've got like neons, but if you don't particularly want something like out there and that fun or like distracting, then they do them in the black, the white, they do them in like gold as well, and I just love these. Again, it's designs that are timeless that you can wear and pass down, generational flex, you know we love that, but it's a little bit different, it's a little bit fun, intriguing. I don't know about you, but my wish list is through the floor um, following this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that I introduced you to some cool new brands, show me some different things. Let me know if you want more fine jewellery videos. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.